we are at Regent's Park where every year Art Below do Art Below Regent's Park where there's a selection of artists, in this case 28 different artists from all over the world but they all live and work here in London uh, and a really good selection of artists in terms of the um, different practices. We've got a poet, we've got uh, James Milne who works specifically always in Biro, quite political, he's done something on Trump. Uh, we've got Lisa Sorenza from America um, who works on iPads. We've got um, Ruth Fox who's worked with denim material. We've got Katia Khan who's a painter, she's based in West London. And then obviously quite a sentimental uh, angle as well with Bernie Katz, a memorial poster to Bernie Katz. Um, and yeah, a really good cross range of different practices, themes and backgrounds on display. And the reason why Regent's Park is kind of uh, relevant is at this time of year, a lot of people go through the station on the way to the Freeze Art Fair, um, which is based in Regent's Park. So it's a really good place for people who are already interested in art to see more art, but in a place where there's normally advertising. My name's Ruth Fox and I'm a figurative and abstract artist. Um, these lines here I love, um, and these lines, really awkward not so keen on those. If I produce an artwork whereby part of it annoys me, then I've, um, I've accomplished what I set out to achieve. Um, my work is about the mind-body divide, so um, our physical selves, we are very much separate from by the way we live online, science and technologies, developments. Um, so yes, yeah, so you get like a real mixture of figurative and abstract um, which very much focuses on line and contour in my work. Um, this piece is called uh, Blue, uh, Nude on Blue Suede and was created for um, Art Below's Freeze Week uh, project. Hi, I'm Katia Khan. This is my poster for Art Below. Um, it's based on the novel uh, The Little Prince by Antoine de Saint-Exupéry which I studied during my English literature degree a long time ago. But um, so basically it's um, just evoking the notion of remaining a child all your life. Um, e even as an adult, you've got the illustration of the little prince in the background, which is doubled and mirrored um, because it's kind of like, I guess, derivative and uh, trying to play around to play around with the original image, and then this subject is a friend of mine from Brussels. Um, he's very much like the little prince inside. Um, he's got a very kind of childish element to him. He's always, you know, expressing his emotions openly, and that, I think that's something that we all should strive towards. Just have this kind of innate connection with our emotions. The rose is there because that's an important symbol of the little prince, uh, as in the novel. And uh, it's got a tear as well, which can be interpreted in any way you like. Thank you. So this piece is based upon the Kabbalah system of the Tree of Life, um, which is within their esoteric teachings and how to be more at one with yourself and understanding of the universe around you. Um, I work mainly basing on usage geometry and parabolic curves. So as you can see, it's kind of mathematical art. And gold has been used here as a representation of enlightenment because by finding all of these different centers within yourself and understanding the place that you have within the universe and the place that it has within the universe, you're able to reach the kind of one sense of enlightenment and being at one with your true self. And the piece is sold, which is wonderful news. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Sorenza, and this is my piece, New York City Contrast. Um, I'm, an, I'm a, an artist that lives and works in London, but I've lived in New York, Paris, London, Tokyo. Um, what interests me most is when we end up with this confluence of cultures that's all mixed, and yet we seem to have a lot of the same goals and a lot of the same needs in life. I did this piece in Jackson Heights, and it's an area where there are a lot, a lot of different cultures that have come to find a better life in America, generally speaking. 
Um, if you look at this piece, I did it live on the iPad um, because I, can, I feel I can capture the energy of people more lively than if I was taking photos and working from something static. Um, if you look at the layers in this piece, there's dollar bills, there's Lady Liberty, and there's a few other things thrown in here along with what I call construction lines to drive the eye around and continually get us to ask questions about why we're here, what we're doing, and where we're going to. Um, I hope you enjoy my work. Thank you. My name is Max Wallace, and this is my triptych, You Left the WhatsApp group. They're three poems about the digital remains of a relationship and how you have to pick through them when someone's gone. The reason I did this was to get gay poetry into a place where it's not normally seen, especially at a time where one of the most commercial art fairs in the world is on. I hope you like them. The first time we did the things our old lovers loved. The slow chew of my lobe, that sigh even flush against your weight. In truth, we were hardly there. Our lovers' ghosts locked in a commiserative play. How we learnt our shape could trace with one finger the outline of a ruin made. I'm Ekaterini Koliaku. Um, I've been living in various countries and I made that in Switzerland. It's Dalai Lama. I hope it's obvious. <laughs> and uh, I bought the book in Kathmandu, big time. And I do love Buddhism. And it was belonging to a trilogy, triptych of big pieces of canvases um, with Maria Callas and Bob Marley. And this is paper and spray and newspapers from Nepal. Um, the book now belongs after me to, I gave it to Morales, uh, I know from Mykonos, and um, it always reminds me that we have to keep calm, to keep breathing, have a good breath and deep when you are in the underground, which is the underworld. In London, it's good to have some space and spice. That's it. Keep clear of the doors, please. I really like this picture over here because the screen is an iconic work. And I've always met myself on Westminster Bridge, so it's strange that someone's chosen to do that actually. Also, um, to me, this is very contemporary. This is the House of Parliament, this is where power takes place, where our government is. There's rivers of blood there, which I think are post Brexit blood. The terrible decision we've made to leave Europe. And this is the scream of the person saying, Oh Christ, why did we ever do that? Yeah, I think it's very, very contemporary. Um, I think it's the screen of most civilized people in this country. Um, but I like it because it's weird. It's like, like the original painting of Admiral, but still very English, transferred to a, a London context. It's very weird that Big Ben is rather small. It has a problem more or less right. But the extraordinary red colour is just both power, red of power, and red of blood. I firstly agreed to be part of the show because I've been part of Ben's shows for a long time. Heart Below has been a kind of passion of mine. But um, this in particular show seemed specifically relevant because there was a lot of uh, political themes and uh, personal themes happening at the same time. This specific piece is um, kind of a play on words and it's love, not war, but in visual communication as in like the stormtrooper and there's Adam and Eve and he's standing in the way between the two of that happening and I think that's kind of relevant to the time that we're living in now. So, uh, so uh, I'm James Bill. Um, I specialise in drawing in ballpoint pen and this is one of my ballpoint drawings and um, it's based on a painting of Marie Antoinette. 
uh, in like the 1700s. Well, I changed the painting uh, for her to have a choke on her neck and a um, pop bracelet on her wrist and a grimy tattoo on her arm and a little bit of sort of like a references to street art on the, on the right and left. And the idea is it's um, subverting aristocracy, and, like the elite and authoritarianism, and uh, bring it back down to urban culture and modernising, bring it back into the uh, modern world.